Hello again, I'm GCC librarian Claire Lobdell. Today, I'm going to show you how to use JSTOR, which is a database of articles and some eBooks, almost all of which are from the humanities. It's the best database we have at GCC for finding academic scholarly history articles. If you click on our databases from on campus, you'll be taken directly to the database. If you click on one from off campus, you will first be taken to a sign-in page that looks like this, where you'll have to enter your library card number as well as a password. The default password is your last name in all capital letters. If you don't yet have a library card, you can request one by filling out the Get a Card form on the library website. If you fill out this form during the week, you will be emailed a library card number within 24 hours. If you do it over the weekend, you'll have to wait until someone comes in on Monday and can send it to you. From the main GCC library webpage, click on the big blue databases button. This will take us to a page with three featured databases and then below a list of subject heading, headings. Click on the subject heading for history. From here, I'll click on JSTOR, which is the first database listed. Once inside JSTOR, I like to use the advanced search feature, which lets me select the type of article I want to find, as well as other helpful ways of narrowing down a search. For example, I want to search for articles about the Opium Wars, which were two wars fought in the 19th century between Great Britain and China. I'm going to search first for Opium War. And I get over 9,000 results. That's way too many. Now I am going to narrow down my search to articles and books. I'm leaving reviews unchecked because those are book reviews, not original research, and they're not going to be useful for the paper that I have to write. That narrowed down my results list a little, but at over 5,800 results, it's still way too many. Now I'm going to put quotation marks around opium war so that it's searched as a phrase. Otherwise, the search is going to look for the words opium and war anywhere in a document, but it, they might not be together as a phrase. Now we're down to 800 and some results, which is still way too many. Finally, I am going to switch my search from all fields, which looks for the phrase anywhere in the document, to item title. If I search for the phrase opium wars and it appears in the title, I know that the publication really focuses on at least one of the opium wars. And finally, with that refinement, I'm down to 15 results, which I think is a manageable number. You can also use the word or in your search to look for topics that might be called by several different names. For example, a search for Joan of Arc as a phrase in item title, reviews, or sorry, articles and books comes up with 26 results while a search for Joan of Arc or Jeanne d'Arc, which is her name in French, comes up with 41 results. You can also use the word and to create a more complex search. For example, if I want to look for information about women's experiences of the Civil War, I'm going to search for Civil War as a phrase and 
women or woman. This gives me 173 results. If I want to exclude results about Northern women, I can also add another line using the word not. So now in this case, I'm going to exclude results that have the word North or Northern or Union. In the title, which brings me down to 150 results. By combining these different words, or, and, and not in your search, those are called Boolean terms, you can really hone in better on what you're actually looking for. Thank you very much for viewing this video. If you have questions about this or other library services, please contact reference at gcc.mass.edu. Good luck.